Hey everyone, welcome back to Undead World Heroes Survival. So this month we have a new tier list. We definitely have um, two new heroes to be added to the previous list. And uh, we also have some movement uh, based on some of my playtests that I've made. Um, I'm actually more versed with all of the, you know, the factions right now. But without further ado, let's proceed to the tier list itself. Okay, so we start with uh, tier C. So it's still Niles. He does really need a rework. Um, he's now eclipsed by the new hero that just arrived. Um, although he's melee, but again, he's no use right now. Okay, so let's proceed to the next one. So we have letter B. For tier B, still no changes in this tier. So you still have... Um, still have these guys you have sam you have jones you have bella you have henry and you have this girl i forgot her name caddy sorry she's caddy so no change for b and c let's move further up which is a for your tier a guys there have been changes i think i elevated one up to tier um tier s or tier SS, I forgot. But this is your tier A. So you have here, um, uh, what do you call this? You have here the new girl, which is Olivia. Then you have here Cookie. You have the Deem. You have here uh, Lee. And you have here, I forgot his name again. Um, he is with the Sugar Reapers. So for this girl, Olivia, um, frankly speaking, her kit is quite confusing because um, she is mostly a ranger, so it's, it's expected that she deals um, single, you know, single damage, single target damage. She also has piercing, but she is she displays a lot of crowd control spells or skills. Okay, but you know, it, it's it's really a, a mix. It, she is kind of similar to to what do you call this to the old guy um i'm gonna look for him later but um the one that has a crossbow um is similar to that guy um but again he she still remains a mystery right now requires a lot more testing um i don't have her yet but as far as her kit is concerned it's like a mixed bag um she doesn't excel at anything i do hope that her damage is very significant um, and she targets the unit with the highest HP. So that is it for Olivia. So hopefully you can give me in, uh, inputs, guys, on how you think of Olivia. Right now she's in tier A. I think her, her, her kit is good. It all depends on how she develops up to her um, legendary or exclusive weapon. So we have here again Cookie here. And that's it for tier A. For your S tier, guys, you have here the same. You have Connor. You have here Tyler. You have here... I seem to forget this guy. Um, and you have here this girl. <laughs> Keep on forgetting their names. Uh, Tanya. You have Rock. You have Webster. Um, anyway, the changes here is Tanya. I elevated to tier S. Um... It's, it has been great using her in um, one in, in my Hive team. Sorry, this is Gabriel. I forgot his name. So um, she has been a good, you know, a, a decent up to, you know, no, not decent. Your average up to above average in terms of the team for Hive. I've used her in Skyscraper for the Hive content and she, she actually is good. Um, I've had I have already at legendary, which um, I think, which makes her different from than before than before herself in legendary. But then unlocking her, you know, your her signature weapon is going to do wonders for her. That is why she has, is at S. Then you have Rock here, always a staple for AOE damage. Then you have Webster here as well. Again, Webster shines um, so much in single target um, that I cannot put uh, Olivia, you know, uh, and toe to toe with him. Um, Olivia still remains to be seen. And also, we have here the last, which is Tammy. Tammy is the new one, the new uh, tank for um, Sugar Reapers. I have her at one copy and uh, I'm using her at Skyscraper. And she does wonders for the team, even with. 
um a low level um i think she's going to be good guys um she has hp recovery damage reduction defense increased for all the allies that she's with defense reduction to enemies and movement speed reduction as well so again as far as the other pluses in terms of what she brings to herself and to her team she's going to be very good and she probably might end up at tier ss okay so for now i'm putting her at tier s okay because again she's untested yet um but her kit dictates that her value is at s and the last is going to be your tier ss okay to start with abigail a monster again i've been using her in almost all of my content um very good tank uh, tank damage dealer She's really not a tank anyway, but again, very good, versatile, uh, very versatile, very sturdy, very, you know, very tough. And um, I'm sorry that I put um, Lita to S last time. I actually didn't realize that uh, what she brought was really extraordinary in terms of the buffs, in terms of all of the things that he, she brings to the team really in terms of uh, lita her you know her buff in terms of damage is what i really value most in a team and she does a really good job and so far no one in this roster can equal what she brings so that is why i put her back at ss then you have here um helen as usual staple for ss then you have here um i forgot this guy um <laughs> forgot their names then you have here Brittany, this guy, oh sorry, Astra. Astra is good for, uh, what they call this, for uh, what for revive and resurrection. Then you have Brittany. Brittany, again, is a must for, you know, for any player. You have to have her, whether you're favoring any other team. Her AoE for her ultimate is, is really a must-have in Skyscraper. Especially if you're facing waves of attacks, then you must have her. This is the guy that I was referring to when I was comparing to Olivia. Um, Olivia might have the potential of Murray because Murray has the same kit. So he is melee, but he has a lot of AoE crowd control damage. So there is a possibility that Olivia will be will be you know going up to the level of Murray. So for those who are using Olivia and using Tammy, please give me some feedbacks on their kit. Um, I'm basing this tier list based on mostly the skills that they have. But again, I might be putting them up, especially for Olivia. Um, I like her kit um, again, but so far it's just theory it's, it doesn't apply to the real application so that is why she is at a then the last for your tier ss is going to be meredith meredith once she becomes legendary unlocks her you know her heal she is actually out of this world as well and no other hero here gives you know gives those buffs those shield or those healing um no uh nothing can compare to the others here so that is why she is at tier ss so anyway guys so that is the tier list for the month of december so again if you want to view this file i'll put this in the description of this video so may, you may check it out um and uh, you know for comments and and suggestions please put them down in the comment section below and hope to hear from you guys um on what you think on the tier list thank you guys stay safe take care christmas is nearing and advance merry christmas to everyone and don't forget if you haven't subscribed yet please consider because uh this really helps my channel a lot and um also don't forget to click that bell icon so you don't miss any uh videos from my channel thank you guys take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here